when we talk about uh, addressing racial inequity in the city, right? That's going to require an intentionality that can be very hard. Um, I think the reality is, uh, for many people, the idea of uh, addressing inequity is misconstrued with the idea that that means less access to things for you rather than equal access to those kinds of resources and opportunities to communities that otherwise have been shut out. And I think the reality is that creates, from a political standpoint, a pushback whenever we're trying to intentionally address this harm, the harm that has led to lack of opportunities or lack of resources, because that requires providing more resources and more opportunities. And I think when we talk about moving forward, it's going to require us to really, and I mean this from a personal standpoint, I mean this specifically from a personal standpoint, if you are doing something to address racial inequity or social inequity, and it's easy for you to do it, if you, if you say that's an easy thing for me to do, then you need to dig deeper and find that harder thing to do. So for instance, if we're talking about um, it's easier for me to address the symptoms of racism than the systems themselves, then you should also address the system and those symptoms. You should dig deeper. Um, and I think that that's a harder conversation, but one that in this time, talking about something that's been different, uh, and uh, I know uh, Dr. Wooden mentioned this, people have brought up their pain a lot easier. Uh, I've done it. I've been swimming in and out of trauma and secondary trauma as I navigate these things, to be quite honest. I, at the, at the uh, State House speech, I actually, that was a very emotional day for me. And there's been aspects of this that have carried with me. And I've, I've labeled it like this. We can have policy disagreements, but when we talk about race, we're talking about my life. We're talking about the lives of my family members, the life of my nephews, the life of my future children, the life of my parents. And there's no real issue that anybody can bring up, whether it's environment or gun rights or housing, that we don't have faith can be solved within our lifetimes. I have a history of seeing race inequity not solved in people who I've loved lifetimes. Um, and there, there's, a, there's a level of distress that I think every person of color carries understanding that they can put everything that they can can muster of themselves into the fight for racial e equity and when they die we may very well not have moved that much further than when we began and the only way that that's going to get reversed is if folks in power uh our white allies our white accomplices folks who have access to these systems begin to do that hard work themselves